Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon. Happy Sunday to you. Good day to you wherever you're watching from. My name is DJ Fred, and this is Sunday Hangout with DJ Fred. I have a special guest in the studio. His name is KK Aponsa. KK, how, <laughs> how are you doing? I'm doing awesome. I'm doing awesome. Nice, 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 nice. Um, Pleased to meet you. I'm meeting you for the first time. Yeah. Can yeah, you guys yeah, believe yeah. that? <laughs> I'm meeting this guy, this great talent for the first time. Yeah, Columbus is a big um, city. And you think Columbus is a big city? It is. It is. <laughs> I don't and see I have, it like that. And um, I mean, a lot of Ghanaians and a lot of Africans here, so it makes it a little bit smaller. But I haven't seen you anywhere. And it's Me too. I haven't seen you anywhere. <laughs> I haven't seen until, you anywhere. Until we connected, I think, last week. Yeah. yeah. I was like, ah. Oh. You know, how come I've never seen I've you? I've never seen you play anywhere. I've never, you know, uh, as a matter of fact, you know, I must say this how I got to find out about you was um, Daniel. Dan. Big shout out to Daniel. I told you I was going to say this. I hope you're watching. Dan, uh, the LIB boy. Dan is yeah, on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, that's his, yeah, that's yeah. his IG. Yeah, Dan, the LIB no. boy. He was the first person that sent me your, your song. Mm. Uh, uh, remember the dark side dark side, dark yeah, side. so when i saw yeah, yeah i saw the thumbnail on youtube i'm like this guy is not african it's not based yet i mean i said this guy is based back home but okay this, this, yeah i'm like this is a video shot in ghana so this is not he's not here he sent me a message i said he's here so i didn't really take it seriously oh wow yeah that was when i was preparing for last week's program uh support your local artist mm -hmm. artist based here in, mostly in columbus so on monday shout out to Kuhn. Okon, yeah, yeah, shout out, shout out, shout, shout out to Okon. Okon sent me your video, uh, bitter, bitter sweet. Bitter sweet, yeah, yeah. So when I saw it, and he said you're based here, I'm like, <laughs> so when I check it, when I went on YouTube, I checked some of your videos, and I saw that. I'm yeah, like, yeah, okay, yeah. this was the video Daniel sent me. Oh yeah, the dark side, right? Yeah, the dark you side. You know, dark side was shot here too. But when you look at, you know, you. Yeah. You had uh painting paint yeah 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 so, it was so if like you look a at the studio, thumbnail yeah. i of course i didn't watch it for that for, okay i just yeah. click, click on here i saw it i'm like okay this is uh, come on this it's, is africa it's <laughs> yeah so um that goes to show no no when in this business in entertainment business no publicity is yeah. is you there is no publicity that is that is a waste yeah that's true you know yeah. uh, it could, at times it could be negative mm. but most times it's those negative publicity that yeah, make yeah. people want to know who is this person yeah, they want to google yeah. you they want to find out you know they won't really, really want to find out who is this guy in the show business yeah. there's no bad publicity there's no bad publicity yeah. Yeah. you know these negative days positive you can always make it good use out of it yeah. yeah the reason i'm saying this i i really give kudos to those guys uh, when people take interest in your craft and they want to use every, any opportunity they get to to you know, to tell people about you, because these days you be in the chat group, yeah, you're posting yeah, your yeah, videos, yeah. you're posting your flyers of your work, nobody would broadcast it, it's, and they will call you brother, <laughs> brother, brother. But day in day out, they're sending pictures of other people. That's true. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. flooding your phone with those pictures, but they, they will never support you. They will yeah, never broadcast yeah, anything you yeah. send out. That's true. People, you know? people don't appreciate like direct people they know like when they see you doing something yeah. it's very hard to see friends you know putting your stuff you know on instagram or you know sharing your stuff but you see all of a sudden somewhere outside you know i mean somebody that they have no connection with but you know and they'd be putting their stuff out and you're like what, what's going on i mean <laughs> yeah they do that a lot. yeah so shout out to dan dan, dan and okon yeah, dan Ocon. Ocon. Yeah, yeah yeah those are great guys okon yeah. aka the calabar yeah. man i haven't met him i know <laughs> i know we'll hang out one of these days <laughs> okon is Ocon, big um, i met him he said um, he met you last year or something last year last yeah. year it was at the um it was a government program that was organized by the ohio state okay and it was some fundraising and i was supposed to shoot um like cover the video yeah and that's that's where we met i think okay yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. it's been awesome all right all right okay let's change here a little bit uh but before we go further i want to quickly uh talk about this um is a product by um 
you know uh the brand goods please check out this website www.brandgoods.com uh check their the words they like you're seeing on the screen they have different sizes different flavors check it out um they, they have fantastic products good quality something that you can be so you know uh upbeat to share anywhere to send to anybody to even if you don't have anybody to buy for buy for yourself and uh, you'll be you'll be glad you did check the website i'll make your order and they will hook you up all right so uh this program time when you're sitting down here time moves very fast before you know it will be one hour oh, yeah. it'll be one hour 30 minutes <laughs> you know um let me let me ask you how is the pandemic era be, be how has it treated you or has it treated you <laughs> i am madam kuro yeah kuro 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 i <laughs> know uh, um i mean for us for myself um I'm, I'm, I'm still i don't like this word up and coming um so i try to <laughs> use i'm still up and going let me put that way absolutely you're still growing <laughs> yeah yeah and um so we are not all that out yet where you know we're getting shows here we're getting you know book today tomorrow not yet but this is our craft and we've taken it serial so we always got to make sure that you know we're putting stuff out there so relating to music last year since corona um it was a, li- a little bit of um, restrictions yeah but it, it somehow motivated me to even do more you know because i personally i do my own music videos most most mostly so yeah it took me the opportunity to you know stay in and create more music and put put it out there last year so um i mean as to social life we all know it has been affected we all been affected somehow but for musically um um, it still goes on you know okay we, we do we put it online and let our fans enjoy it and yeah when when did you start music and listen i like i'm i'm meeting you for the first time yeah, yeah. Uh, and i believe a lot of people that are probably watching right now they're meeting you for the first time so i'm gonna just gonna ask you some basic questions i'm really gonna focus on your craft a lot mm-hmm. i really want to know how you got into the industry when you just dis- when you discover your talent or how did you how did your journey into the industry Definitely. be gone yeah yeah yeah, um, I've been into music um, commercially for a little over 10 years now. I started... <laughs> you said commercially, but yeah. before you started making money off it, how did the journey start? Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, the passion has always been inside, you know, that is um, from childhood. Um, I've been into the music. I've been in the music home. Um, okay. my, 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 my parents, uh, my, my father's side you know they play instruments and you know they are musical so and um i also started in the church um i was in um all these church activities and choir master at a point <laughs> <laughs> you know and yeah. wait, wait, wait wait you were a choir master at the point <laughs> yeah at the point yes yeah, so, um, <laughs> it was a sunday old, it was a sunday school how old were you then um maybe eight years old yeah, and they used to call me choir master. <laughs> 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 wait, 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 at eight years old. Yeah, 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 yeah. Eight years old, probably younger than that. But okay. yeah, it was a children's Sunday school. Okay. And yeah, so I used to, um, I started learning how to play the keyboard at a very young age. My mom put me through um, the, um, it was a um, piano school. Okay. So I was learning the, how to write music, you know, how to read music and play. Mm. But in the church where I was, it was a Pentecostal church and they don't really, you know, do the hymns and stuff where you have to read. It was the Bahat type, you know, you, you know, you just play. And so I stopped the reading at a point and then decided to just play. Bahad. And um, yeah, that's how my musical journey started right from childhood. My first musical instrument was a flute. And okay. that was, I was less than four years or three years yeah i've been having that same flute and it's still it's still, still with, with me you yes. <laughs> so how many how many instruments do you play um i play like um it's like jack of all trades but master of man a bit of keyboard <laughs> yeah right there <laughs> i play the guitar um i play the drums flute 
you know so yeah it's so, a bit and piece of so when when did you take it seriously when yeah, at what yeah, point did you start yeah, yeah so it was in high school high school when i got to senior high school um this was in ghana in ghana back in ghana yeah um and then i was in, more into entertainment you know and started doing records demo here demo there performing here and i was like this looks like something that you know i want i want to, you want to do i want to do for the rest of my life you know so it was after after high school um i was into radio and then i started recording producing and in university i got my first um deal first single and that's where i started going commercial in university i was doing music see i wasn't even taking my you know courses serious, serious. <laughs> because the, the, yeah, cause the, yeah. the, the calling was just yeah, yeah, getting yeah, in the yeah. way I was of like, studying man, um, but you said you said you 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 um it, uh what really what really what, what what led to that decision what what was it that you felt that made you say oh this this looks like something i would really want to do with my life what what was it was there yeah. any particular incident that led to that it's it has always felt that way but you know as you're growing up you know parents bombard you with you know what they want you to absolutely what, what they see african parents, the african parents <laughs> you know um they want you to do science they want you to do this you know at a point i wanted to be an astronomer <laughs> in africa oh. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> growing up i was like Charlie, this stay for africa you I go die with that dream <laughs> so, so so i reduce them come pilot <laughs> he said stay, i reduce it <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I realized that even whilst I'm having all these fantasies and you know wanting to be this, that yeah. music has always been there. It's like every time I always keep going back to music. Yeah, you know. So when I realized that, I, like I'm always it's you know in the studio or you know writing oh, doing poems. You. I was like, why don't this is my life? I mean, this is is this is calling. So why don't I just you know? And anytime time you're doing it, yeah, you don't yeah. you don't. It's like it's not, it just as, comes naturally. As, you exactly, don't force yourself. Exactly. But exactly. when you have to study, you have to read. You see, you're like <laughs> you don't you don't force, you don't force yourself. Yes, you know, yes. To but when you brains, around that music, just when you muse, you can, everything flows. You, the yeah. thing is, how you know is you can be in that studio for ten hours without even realizing it. Exactly, exactly. Sometimes you even have to sleep. That you sleep. <laughs> it just flows. Days will pass, and you know you, you wouldn't even realize yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you realize oh, something like that is very intimate with your spirit you know you just go for it and i mean that's that 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 was it back in so college so when you were in college you started making money from music yes yes i would say um i started making money because i used to organize my own shows even in college okay um i was a bit you know in college I was. A, I tried to be a bit political you know student politics yes. and all that stuff you know so but in first year i got I I won a rap competition. It was, oh. <laughs> it was a rap battle competition. So and I know anybody in UDS um 2007, you know, will attest to this. There was this rap competition and I wasn't even part of it when they were organizing. I was just throwing my way and I see, you know, a bunch of people gathered. It was a big platform. Yeah. And they were doing rap battle. You know, and so you I was just, like, I'm you stumbled I'm, I'm, on I'm, it. I'm, 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 give this a try you know <laughs> so come on <laughs> so so i step on stage and then you know the first person the second person i keep kicking my opponent to the last person then they, they cram so right from first year, i became very known on campus and they used to call me ld so mm -hmm. ld became very popular on campus oh and, wow um so and you know what 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 it, comes with that you know <laughs> <laughs> i'm not gonna go there <laughs> Uh, it comes with all troubles, you uh, know, I know. ups and downs. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and um, yeah, so it was there. I started, you know, taking the music serious. So I was like, if I, you know, I can get into this competition and win, you know. Before that, I've been trying to get into some bigger competition, but you know, the chance was never coming. Yeah. But um, it happened that time, and then I never looked back. It just kept, you know, you just I kept took, multiplying. Yeah, I just took that um, opportunity to give them music, you know, campus, I draw some viral, you know, campus song and people will be sharing, I'll write a song about it, Chancellor, you know, like, you know, controversial stuff and, you know, they, they, were, <laughs> they were enjoying it. And so I decided to organize, I think second year or third year, organize my first show and I called it the um, Acoustic Melodies. <laughs> okay. And it was one of the biggest 
one wow. of the biggest on campus. I mean, a lot of people were. We actually hired. It was over for people were standing behind wow. and wow. and it was just one man show. It was just me and my guitar, mm -hmm. and I had a couple of friends who were doing uh, like comedy and you know on the side. But it was one of the best, you know, shows. And yeah, so uh, we started making small coins back then, and there was a campus radio. Okay. Um, eventually, I became the SLC Ref Entertainment um, on um, my campus. Okay. So yeah, I had access to the school radio, and oh, so wow. I had a radio show that I also, um, I forgot the, you know, the the name. I think hip hop and something. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. So um, it, around that time, university, I decided to take. So my my academics was really. Going suffering down. Yeah, yeah it's going down yeah absolutely <laughs> it's going down the point so Some, something you know, has to give way <laughs> exactly exactly you know the focus was shifting to you know music and the passion was you know just magnifying yeah every, yep, yep, every yep. now and then oh yeah, wow yeah, yeah. okay 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 nice 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 um what we're going to do right now we're going to take a quick musical break uh i know this you this was a song you released in 2016 um, yeah i'm going to play it it's called uh dreams, dreams do, do come true, do come okay, true. Okay, okay, yeah I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to yeah it's a long time ago <laughs> but i want i want us i want us to see yeah. your journey all right great i want great. i want the viewers to see your journey great. so we we we're going through this at the same time yeah. like i said i met him for the first time and I'm getting to know him just the same way you're getting to know him. All right? But there's something spectacular about him. I can tell you that. I'm sitting right there in the studio with him. I know when I see people that take their crust very, very serious, I know. You know? So we're going to take this musical break, we'll, we'll, and we'll be right back. All right. Stay with us. Hello. All right, we're back. We're back. Okay, that was... <laughs> dreams do come true. Yeah, dreams do come true. Yeah, 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 yeah. When did you write that music? Um, I think it was around that time. Dreams do come true. I was doing a song. I was trying to do two songs that will, that is like me, that okay. will, um, tell my story. Yeah. I actually um did a song with another song called I Am Possible which is like my theme, it's like my nickname, is the impossible. You coined and that from your last, my last, last name. name. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's very, very creative. Yeah, yeah. So it was around the time, I think 2015, when um, I I wanted to, because I had been in the state for a long time, and I, ha I hadn't put music out, you know, and, you know, I've been trying um, here, there, um, bands trying to be part of bands you know and trying to find someone who's going to do program you know when you're new in america sometimes you know so when i finally got a bit of breakthrough i was like let me put out these songs that will like define me let people know so i wrote that song i am possible which is not out yet okay because <laughs> i feel that song is so i need to be ready to put it out like you know one two it to get more eyeballs but and also i wrote dreams do come true which sort of um i put a predicted um future of my in the video mm -hmm. and also tell a bit of my story that charlie you know i'm trying to move from a to b but charlie a to b but charlie things know the work of but okay dreams do that, come that, true that, that, <laughs> that brings me to that brings me how long have you been in the state um like nine years ten years nine years ten years uh, yeah, nine years. Mm -hmm. I'll say nine years. So prior to that, all you did in Ghana was in the music industry. You were already, you know, yeah, to um, some extent, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, in two thousand and eight, I my first single. Um, I won a competition in the University of Ghana. Okay. It was a songwriting competition. Okay. And it was about woman empowerment. Um, they wanted somebody to write a song that will express. That. Women empowerment. Yeah, yeah, so I wrote it, and there were a lot of great, you know, musicians and the great artists. One of the, you know, legends even in it, and I came out first. So they gave me a deal to shoot a music video for that song, and then that was it. After the music video, I had to do my promotion, do everything, you know. And I was very young then, so yeah, I did my best, put that song out, 
and it was on TV, and it eventually got nominated for Ghana Music Award even then. Oh, wow. You know, and it, it was nominated for Developmental Song of the Year. You know, so that was my first single, and it, when that happened, I was like, okay, this this is going to work, you know, and I have to make it work irrespective. But um, it was proud to that I have been in the studio, met some big producers who mm -hmm. wanted to sign me to their label. Mm -hmm. But for some reason, we even recorded songs in the studio. And it big, very big. Th those days, they were really big, you know, um, record label. Yeah. Um, with most of the big names in the Ghana music industry, you know, attached to them. So what happened was, um, yeah, we were recording, but we hadn't signed anything, anything yet, yeah. you know, and then um the the boss of that record deal eventually traveled to the state he came to the state and he just left everything hanging i was like i got songs with you you know that i was hoping because of that i was skipping you know because my school was all the way in the north but everything was happening in the south, south. yeah that's oh, in accra wow. so i had wow. to yeah. you know if Some i have to come to the studio going across the country. yeah i had to drive like 12 12 hours in the bus to come to the oh studio my, you can i can imagine that in africa <laughs> you know yeah yeah it's crazy and you have to sleep you know so um i was doing all that you know fixing myself to you know show my craft to the world and then that deal that song rising competition came in and i won and then i told my producer okay this has happened and but then he had already traveled here so i was like i gotta do it on my own and then right after um that nomination ghana musical what i didn't win but I, it was a great honor to be nominated yeah. with one mm -hmm. of the biggest you know reggie Zippy. reggie Re, i know reggie reggie, uh, reggie Zippy and Bo, Zippy and bolly is it bolly and Zippy? I, I forget how they um is it Zippy and but they won something in the united um, united kingdom okay yeah i think the um uk got talent or something or oh, wow. yeah they okay. you know and i think that come that um category they won he won that category in that year so yeah afterwards i came to the state in a different life you know begin <laughs> begins okay. a different struggle everything <laughs> <That's> you know <laughs> 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 and i know you know about that of course of course we're going to talk about that we're yeah, definitely yeah, going to talk yeah. so why columbus yeah i think it's um, Columbus of all places because <laughs> the reason I'm asking I get this question a lot yeah. people ask me at times I've, I've been to places to DJ people like yeah, yeah, why yeah. Columbus yeah, what, yeah, yeah, what yeah, are yeah. you because you know they, they, they know okay they see artist, they see they will come uh, to you and yeah. ask you like and as an artist or you know you gotta be in Atlanta New York you yeah. know it's a place like that but yeah. I mean this is there was there was my first place that you know I came that to you landed yeah, yeah I landed you know mm -hmm. and um for some reason i know nature had a purpose the reason why i landed Absolutely. here and yeah. um i just decided to you know just stay stay and take the uh, you know opportunity you know it sometimes it doesn't really matter because um it hasn't people over here are not really into entertainment it doesn't mean it can't <laughs> tell happen. me tell me about you it know, <laughs> it doesn't mean it can't happen you know you can be the first to do to you know to make something happen you can be the first to you know start something at a place where and I, I see that as even an opportunity to you know keep pushing and not just you know um targeting the african community but also you know any other race ethnicity any other community so that was my that was my motivation for staying but yeah i mean to answer your question that was this where i landed i mean so this how this where i knew people you know because i knew a lot of Ghanaians. yeah yeah in yeah. colombo so but it, I know you're putting in, you're pushing, you're putting in a lot of effort. Mm -hmm. Is it frustrating? Have you, you know, felt like giving up at, at the, yeah, yeah. here? I mean, in the if, city of Columbus. If, uh, you Are you really back, happy being here in the city of you Columbus? You refer back to the, the song I wrote in 2016. That's that Dreams, dream, do, come dreams say, do Come True. Rain pouring down so hard, it stings my face. And I feel like I'm losing my way here. Mm -hmm. I just want to grow. From the point where I stay, okay. but not been around shows that it would be okay. But when I close my eyes, I see the sky, and I know I can fly. So yeah, it hasn't been. <laughs> it hasn't been. It hasn't yeah, been a smooth, rain, smooth rain, ride. Rain, rain, pouring down. It's been. It's been crazy, but um, it's it's always not. I let a journey take place, but my focus is the destination. You know where I want to be. 
you know, once I see where I want to be in, in, in a very clear picture, whatever is happening doesn't distract me, you know, whatever. The journey does not really bother me. I'm just really zoom in into the destination and that that has been the motivation you know so far but it hasn't been easy it's it is frustrating if i should <laughs> at a point you know but um do dreams you, will come true do you think if you were still in africa you'd be bigger than where you are today yes sometimes i don't think so sometimes but you know i also say i am happy or who I am now, mm-hmm. you know, what I know, what I have become, yeah. you know. I would say if I stay in Ghana and maybe I've, I became a hit, you know, one of my songs blew up and, you know, what I probably wouldn't have been the person I am today. Mm-hmm. You know, I think I am in a better position for um, stardom or I'm in a better position right now for um the public eyes as compared to back then you know i was you know i had a zeal you know the passion and i was ready to be out there yeah but i didn't know what i know now <laughs> yeah. like i'm yeah. you know so yeah. Yeah. for some reason i feel everything happened for a reason mm-hmm. yes i would have been because i'm somebody anybody that knows me i never stop i never quit i keep pushing um i will some of my music video when i was in ghana yeah how I got it to be played on TV station, I had no money. I was just one person, my own manager, my own everything. So how I got it to be played on all TV stations, sometimes I even went into, um, I've never said it this on any radio, but I went to a minister's office. <laughs> it was a minister for children, um, women and children affair. Yeah. I went to an office with a proposer and you know, and they were the one that gave me a pass to um, the, um, the I think it was the biggest station back then, JTV. Yeah. You know, so I will go to any place, you know, to make sure my music is being played. You know, I will go to TV stations just to stand there and play something for somebody to listen. You know, and then so that was You're just looking I, for every position yeah, to market yeah, yourself. Yeah, yeah. So that was what I was doing back in Ghana. So I knew. Even with my um, producer situation, if I had continued to do those kind of things, definitely things would have, you know, pan out and um, the the light would have shined more brighter. But um, no regrets. But do you, do you <laughs> think you started all over again here in the States? It feels that way. It feels that way. Because when you come, you're now, it's like a totally different <laughs> environment, totally different but, new but, life. Most especially when you, you know, when... You what you envisioned in Africa about yeah, America exactly exactly Charlie. and you, <laughs> you came come, down here you see something completely different <laughs> different yeah 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 because you know that's it that's throws you thing. off balance that's the thing back at home we are informed by the television yes. t- you know come on. Hollywood Pre- preach it you feel preach like it, brother <laughs> preach it you feel like you come into America <laughs> and just all of a sudden you're about to be you know, meet yep. um, um, Beyonce at by, the corner. Just in front of your house. <laughs> <laughs> meet Beyonce and Charlie, say hi to <laughs> Jay-Z. <laughs> Jay-Z. <laughs> Those kind of stuff. So, man, it's, it's, you feel like, okay, man, I see Charlie, if I dare America, this thing this is thing for not, cry. You know, like, but, you see some certain things back home, you say, yeah, yeah. this can this cannot happen in America. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Say they happen times two, <laughs> times thirty. <laughs> it's crazy. So you know, you get here and just life just hits you in the face like you surprised. Like, oh man, I have to do all this, pay all these bills. You know, get <laughs> make yeah. this happen. Yeah, <laughs> yes, but, but but the good thing, like you said, what well, you you are at a place now where you don't regret anything oh, yeah, because yeah. of because of the level of experience you, yep, you got yeah 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 the, yep. the level of exposure you have now mm-hmm. you where you are now if you choose to move back home your you know yeah yep. the way you operate is going, going to be, be different, different. Yep, definitely, definitely you know definitely. your hustling spirit the way definitely. you navigate things definitely. the way you it's gonna be so so definitely. different definitely you definitely. know that's that is one advantage you have yeah yep, 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 yep. you know yeah. Um, so, it's so not na- easy. Yeah, none of the years I counted wasted. Yeah, I mean, the, the dream hasn't fully achieved, but it's a journey. And once you are focused on the destination, um, nothing, nothing, nothing should distract you. And absolutely, that has been my motivation. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. You heard it. You heard it. Once you're focused, 
you will not go wrong. You will not go astray. And for that, we're still going to take another musical break from KK Aponsa, the winner. He's the, pre- he's the winner. Although we, we have other things we're going to talk about of um, Ghana Music Awards, US based Afro Pop artist, artist 2020. Oh. He won that category. I'm right here in the studio with him. We're just chit chatting. We're getting to know him. We're getting to know his journey. How, how how far is you know come in the musical industry and is still doing and is still fighting is is a is a fight in you know, as much as you're here in the states trying to you know break through those doors. Yeah. I, I don't know you know what those doors entails, but until you break through <laughs> it, <laughs> we're going to take another musical break. This is um Sound of Africa from uh, KK Aponsa featuring uh, Baba Spirit. Yeah. All right, we'll be right back. We're back. That was um, Sounds of Africa. Yep, what a beautiful Africa. video. Yep. Very entertaining, nice, very nice. relaxing. <laughs> so you went back home to shoot that video? Yeah, yeah. That was in 2019. 2019. Yeah, I shot that video. But I actually released it last year. Okay. Yeah, because I was, you know, waiting for the right time. And, you know, but yeah, I went back home. And it's the, how come, you know, the, the way we did that music... Um, it wasn't really what I was going there to do. Okay. But that guy, um, what was his name? Baba, Baba Spirit. Spirit. He's a very known face in, you know, back in Ghana. He's okay. a celebrity. He's a comedian. Okay. I you got, know, I got to. <laughs> <laughs> a very, very talented comedian. And yeah, um, where I was staying, he's a very close friend to the guy over there. So he came to the studio one time and I was recording one of my songs. Um, um, the was forgot the title of the song mm-hmm. but he came there and he was listening to the song and there was a part of the song that's like i like this part can we do something you know with the song so it was right a shout out to the producer um Piquet's. yeah Piquet, shout out to you yeah he came up with this magic beat and it was right in the studio that we created this sound oh, wow you know and it was amazing so we just started freestyling you know it, 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 the, the beat it's uh you know, like it reminds you of that old Ghanaian high life. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, that yeah. was the sound of of Ghana that I yeah, fell yeah. in love with back in the that's, day. There's a string, it's the guitar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it, it has a little bit of is it soccer in it, mm-hmm. but yeah, it's majority of it is high life. Yeah. And how has the yeah. response for that particular track? How has it been? This track has been amazing. You know, interestingly, like out of all my songs that I put out before Sounds of Africa and after, this particular one seems to be getting a lot of sales on, on, on the digital platform. Yeah. You know, I every time I go like monthly, they send you um, and I the see... The analysis yeah, summary. And I see a lot of people in UK, you know, Europe, you know, that's... and. It got. I, I feel it got to do with the title of the name. I mean, the title of the song, and also but the, the, sound. the acting. Yeah, yeah the yeah. acting involved. It's very yeah. entertaining. Oh yeah, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. You, yeah. Just, you just flow with it. Yeah, with a video. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just yeah, flow yeah, with yeah. it. The video. We we decided to make it something fun and more African. So we had to um, drive miles go because we're in Accra. Mm-hmm. So to go to the yeah, countryside, to the, yeah, the yeah, village, yeah, yeah, the village to you know shoot this, and it was a very hectic day, but. At the end of the day, we're ha- just having fun and just nice, expressing our nice, passions. Nice. Yeah, but it's been taking a lot of, I mean, most of the sales for my music, uh, yeah, you know, the top, sounds of Africa. Yeah, 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 yeah. So your your sound your sound is very is very unique. Thank uh, you. Thank and you. it's very versatile. Thank you. So what do you <clears throat> work with? Other producers or do you produce yourself? How involved are you in, oh. in your production? Oh, yeah. Um... I write, um, I compose, mm-hmm. but I don't do production. I don't produce. I can do some, you know, concha concha on my own and send it to somebody to, you know, make it more meaningful. Yeah. You know? But because I, I can, you can hear, you know, different layers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, know, <clears throat> I but I do, I do compose my songs. You know, sometimes I st- I create a melody, um, I sing it on the guitar. You know, do something on the keyboard, send it to producers. I worked with, um, yeah, three major producers I work with. Um, most of them are in Ghana. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, Piquet's, shout out to Piquet's, shout out to MVN, um, MVNV. 
Um, shout out to Blue Beats. Yeah, those guys in Ghana are the ones that most of my songs, if it's not P Craze, it's MVNV. If it's not MV, it's Blue Beat. And yeah, they, they, they got my back. So yeah, I'm open to working. And over here, I work with my guy, um, Jada Fizzle, Joe Khalifa. They're all um, African um, producers, young talents that are doing also really oh, okay. good. That's good. And I've worked with one international um the guy who did the Dreams Do Come True, mm-hmm. um, he's a German, but he's been in America for long. And for he's long produced time. for the, uh, is it Britney, the Tony Braxton, and all those big, big, you know. Um, and so when it comes to pop, um, not Afro pop, but pop songs, he's the one that I go to to create, you know, those sounds. So yeah, I work with a variety of um, producers all across. So who are, who are your influencers locally when i say locally is african influencers mm-hmm. people you you are like international white people you you grew up listening to back home who yeah, were yeah. who were people that influenced you that modeled your your foundation yeah 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 when i was growing up i, <laughs> I listened to a lot of variety but um i was more of a reggae person <laughs> but Mali, I know. <laughs> I, I, gotta, more, yeah, yeah, I, I don't know. More. I can't wait for you to say that. Yeah, yeah. Definitely, but Mali will be there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It, 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 it was Bob Mali. Uh-huh. Was, I had big pictures of Bob Mali yeah. in my room, every corner, and you know, I write Bob Mali is my inspiration. I I listened to Bob Mali all day in my Walkman. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that was in Jesus Bob Mali, Lucky Dube, you know. So yeah, I was, Lucky Dube. And then Michael yeah, Jackson. So rest in peace. Yeah, and then Michael Jackson. Um, so, um, I was I was a reggae person, but aside that, Ghanaian music, I listen. I was, um, all variety, you know, gospel, hip life, you know. But my main influence were, I would say, Bob Mali mm-hmm. in the way I write. My melody, how I sing, and Michael Jackson, maybe the craft, you know, uh, yeah. So I always wanted to be like Mike. Everybody wanted to be like Michael Jackson. Where, you know, <laughs> so you didn't know how to break dance? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the only dance that I know. <laughs> the moonwalk, catwalk, you know. <laughs> you do, you do all that. Yeah, Mike I mean, Jackson was, uh, you know, one of the people that you know makes you want to come to America. You know, yeah, like a childhood. Like, like I want to go to heaven. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I want to go to that I heaven. Have, I have to be there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so right from childhood, uh, it's like I have to be so, where Michael is. So how Michael. how would you cut, cut, categorize your your sound? What well, you have sound. a name you call it? Your you have a different yeah. genre that you do, or yeah. you want to call it Afrobeat or high life? Or oh yeah, you have something special for it. I know I, it's just impossible music, you know, because. I first identify myself as a musician first, or you know, like a, yeah, a musician first mm-hmm. before Jenna. Okay. You know, I try not to boss myself into yeah. a Jenna as a musician. You okay. know, um, any type of melody can flow out of me. Okay. You know, yes. Um, um, that depends on the mood. Or as, what? What? Inf- do you hear the beat first, or you li- you write your lyric? Like some people, when they hear beat, the beat will influence. Mm-hmm. Who inspire them to like to write lyrics? Uh, yeah. What influences you? My own is, I just I don't hear beat your I, environment, I, your experiences, things you see. Yeah, yeah. So I sing melodies. Okay. Like um, when I'm there, melodies just pop in my head, and I just that I'm in them. A lot of melodies, and it could be from maybe a sound that you've heard before or something. You no, know, but then. I know melodies just keep popping in my head every now and then. So sometimes I just pick my phone and record myself. I'm into that. But no content, no yeah. words. So later on, I keep singing in Is my head. And the, words, and the words just keep coming. I don't really write um, pen, paper, no. I just, the, once the style. melody comes, yeah, yeah, I just keep singing and the words come. And there are some too that you like, you want to write about this. You know, I want to, I want to write I want to sing about this. So, yeah, you, you just create a melody in your head and just that. Um, yeah, so it's for more, it's not one particular genre. I can't really box my style of music into Afro pop or Afro beats or high life. Because if you look at my, I put an, a new EP out. Mm-hmm. If you listen to it, you see high life, a lot of high life. You see Afro beat, you see um, hip hop, you see pop music you know all of that on one you know so it's music yeah. you know and yeah. but what i make sure because is that 
it's representing a bit of where I'm from. I'm representing my um, identity in that music. So you see a bit of Africa in each of the genres that you see, you know. So yeah. And um, again, you you have a wide you know audience base. So you're going to give a little bit of everything. Exactly. To, as, you know, exactly. Because the, the world the world is a it's, big. It's not a global village. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. It's, a, yeah. it's a global. So, so there's uh, there's let's talk about this video I saw on Facebook. Uh, it's um where you you use an ass to damage you will sit it down oh. listen to it. Is it because the reason why i'm bringing this up yeah. is you know you should play what, that i didn't send you that song no but. you did not i wanted to but i like you didn't send it to me for a reason look yeah. let me let, just let it be oh yeah so I, the reason i'm saying this is the impression i got from that is mm -hmm. Okay, maybe you're sick because the the what I saw on that TV you damaged uh -huh. with it where some of the mainstream, <laughs> yeah, your very yeah. popular songs, yeah, yeah, are you yeah, like yeah. out of annoyance, like because these days people are saying some African like Kenya and other, other uh -huh. countries they're saying oh we, want, we don't want no Nigerian music in our clubs in mm -hmm. our social lives anymore. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, want to go back to our roots. We want to start. With it. It, it was that decision yeah, that yeah, influenced yeah. that is that the same so, thing that... because i hear they talk about that in ghana as well yeah yeah we don't Ga want no nigerian music in our clubs yeah. we want to promote our own you know i mean ghana they, culture. i mean yeah um i mean because the information started from nigeria because i heard nigeria have like a policy where it's something percent nigerian music and seven percent but i think that i think that is it's like that everywhere not it's really. Not, that's not, not a Nigerian policy. Not, it's like that everywhere. Not, not really. You know, it, local I local you, content, and it's like I think your sixty place, or eighty to twenty or something. Yes, like your that. place. You you guys have put it on paper, so it it makes sense in the radio stations and everything. But in Ghana, I get it came to a point where it was all Nigerian music. You know, it came to a point where Nigerian music are just taking over. But, but if that know, is the case, and then that's where. Artists started calling for less Nigerian music. Bandy, you know? Nigerian. But that's not, not banding Niger Nigerian music, okay. but trying to replicate what is also happening in Nigeria, where mm -hmm. they have a certain percentage, let's say 70% or 80% Nigerian movie in the, you know, because there was something we call Payola. I don't know if it's in Ghana, where you have to, a local artist in Ghana have to pay a certain, or tip, not pay, you know, the, the DJ personalities. Person, yeah. And I think it kept going. I I, I think <laughs> I, somebody I saw that there's an argument also where people say the Nigerian artists they come here they, go, they give the, these guys it, good money. That's, Whereas that's, that's, a Ghanaian that's, artist will come and and just more or less like where a Ghanaian artist for instance will give five dollars, Nigerian artist will come and give like thirty dollars. So what also, do you expect the DJs to do? In, <laughs> in you know, that's also another part of you know the conversation that maybe the public <clears throat> were not really you know. Um, they didn't really know where because we assume that you know because they play 50 cent and nobody have ever seen 50 i mean that's <laughs> that nobody has it but then 50 cent will not bring his um cd or song to uh, ghana radio no, play. no but, way you know they no were way. playing yeah. hip-hop and everywhere so automatically they just assume that that's what is happening with nigerian artists too that yeah. you don't know these people but you constantly keep playing the music and when we want to push ours you want to charge this amount social yeah. amount yeah and you know so that part of that conversation was not really emphasized on. So it could be too that money is involved. <laughs> so know? that was what influenced uh, that, that song, that video? No, no, no. The, 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 that's, that's, the song um, is called Nkwasianyum. Okay. And in Kwasianyum, um, for a better word in English, means nonsensical music. Okay. Um, let's say music. I won't say music without content, but nonsensical music, you yeah, know. Yeah. Um, and yes, so it's just emphasizing on the fact that there's been a lot of trash songs, garbage, garbage in the system, you know. And those are the ones that are getting the numbers, yes, are getting the eyeballs. Absolutely. Those are the ones that people are talking about. Yeah. They will, you know, it goes viral real quick, mm -hmm. and then you can sit, compose, do really good music, they, they and then they, it won't go nowhere. Exactly, nobody <laughs> exactly. will pay attention to it. You know, so that 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 was it. Um, um, I first performed that song when it wasn't the video wasn't even out on the Ghana Music Award last year, mm -hmm. and the reaction. Okay. People, the reaction you know that came from the audience were amazing, and you know when I got off stage, people were like, man, you you know the song had a message. Yeah. You know, so I was like, yeah, I just have to, and yeah, it's been interesting. You know, it's really it's really gone. It pushed the brand further, That's and good. a lot of eyes, and 
yeah i just tackle some of the videos that i put in there um were just to create controversy you know but though those were songs that were also in the com type of conversation that why will you do this type of song as a big artist or you know you know so there were songs that were already in that com um, controversy kind of conversation yeah. so i just put it in there and um the controversy got to me okay. <laughs> all right yeah. ladies and gentlemen if you stay here and i know you're there watching us i want to say thank you very much uh without you out there this program will be meaningless uh the the main reason for this platform is for those of us here in the entertainment industry in columbus this is a it's not this is not a mega city like that in america it's it's a struggle you literally have to it's a fight for you to follow your passion in Columbus, in this city. It's because yep. it does not really encourage, you know, us like that. So when I see talents, when I see people that take their craft seriously, they invest their time, their resources, you know, put it, some things aside, they do other things to still make sure and bring you know, those money and invest it, you know, just to do something to follow their passion. Uh, I, I make it as... I take it as a point of duty to bring them on for you guys to see if you live in the city of Columbus. This is my guest today, Ace. Uh, KK Aponsa hails from Ghana. He's based yeah. here in the city of Columbus. He's <coughs> doing a lot of things. He's doing us proud. If you're meeting him for the first time, go on YouTube and Google his music. He has a lot of videos on YouTube. That's what this platform is all about. Uh, he won an award last year, Ghana Music Awards, US-based. Afro Pop Artist of the Year 2020. So that brings me to GMA mm -hmm. Awards. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's a blessing. It's a blessing. Um, because we've been in the states for a long time, and it's like we're always trying to compete with people back at home, or we're always trying to instead of us setting our own standards mm -hmm. and trying to be, we always like. Let me take the song back home, and you know this because guy, that's where the that's where it's popping. Exactly, exactly. But look at the world; it's a global village, like you said. Yeah, and it's a big platform. So wherever you are, it, irrespective, you should be able to sign with your music. Yeah. And you know the world is in the palm of our hands now. Yes, you understand. Yes. So we don't really necessarily have to go back, you know. But just because we are aliens. <laughs> yeah. in someone's land yeah. it's difficult trying to you know pair with them at the same time it's also difficult trying to go back to you know compete with your or, or trying to be in the same industry so we having our industry in the state as uh, um, a Ghanaian or African community it's, it's a blessing mm -hmm. you know because mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't say we are in the um, the business to compete but it's also good to the, recognize because the business is rooted in competition. <laughs> oh yes, yes. But music, I see music as passion. Music as something that is, you know, whether you are in competition or not, it's still in you. You're yeah. gonna do it somewhere. You no, know, but as long as um, there's a structure, there's a system, mm. a little competition is uh, doesn't hurt. <clears throat> you understand? And um, we have an industry here. It's just gonna help make you know the light that we're trying to shine even more brighter. So yeah, it, it that the um the meeting edition was last year, and shout out to the organizers Dawn, um, Dawn Music Production and um, High Life Music High Life Radio, Capito. Okay. It's it's um it's been a blessing and the the um participation last year was amazing. How you many know? people were nominated in the category you won? Like it was a lot, like 10, 15. Wow. It was wow. a lot of people in wow. that wow. category. Yeah, it was wow. like because I think they were overwhelmed when they put the nomination yes. out and the number of people that you know submitted and submitted. Yeah. It's like we have all this, you know, yeah, artists, in the states, yeah, in the yeah. state, yeah. and there's just a few of them that you know we know about. But it was like a sea of artists, you know, wow. and. Yeah, so they try to give everybody a chance. And so the category, there's a lot of people in the category that are one. But you know, thankfully, we came out. Um, I actually filed for two. It was the Afro Pop Artist and the Afro Pop Song of the Year. Okay. And yeah, um, 
eventually won the Afro Pop Artist, which was well deserved. And yeah, um, this year is happening again. Um, and yeah, we filed the game. So okay, before we talk about that, how has that winning that award affected your? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. How has yeah, it yeah. changed your music? Like I said, your... the song in Kwasianyum that you said you mm-hmm. watched. Um, mm-hmm. I wish I had sent it to you. Uh, my mind was okay. This is an audience. Um, cause most of the part, most of the song was sung in my language. Yes. Yeah. And it was addressing Ghana, you know, so I think if I'm going on a platform where it's not just Ghanaian, I better give them a song that has a bit, but, um, that song that I sang on that stage got a lot of attention, a lot of eyeballs and, you know, and after winning the award also, you know, this business about numbers. Now, into yes. this world, yes. Exactly. <laughs> yep. Yep. I mean, in every business, yeah. you know, in once it's, it's showbiz, it's about numbers. But and that's why going back, that's why people people are singing rubbish. Exactly. Now it's not. It's not. A, it's not. It's not about the content. Exactly. It's about I wish the numbers. You, I wish you speak our language or understood our language. <laughs> it's not about the content exactly, anymore. That's exactly what I was addressing yes. in the song. Yes. You know, a, people are trying to. Um, be famous real quick, so just, you know, they just ch- put choosing together, that viral moment. Yep, yep, you know, yep, cloud. yep, yep. And yep. then they, they write, they write on it. Is it that they write on it or they fall right back? Yeah. But that has been the order of the day. So people are not putting good content that can compete with the, you know. But the, the danger that come with that is a lot of them don't last long. Exactly. Because this is a very dicey business. Exactly. Exactly. Longevity. Exactly. Exactly. How many people did you know back then? In, in a Ghana music industry mm-hmm. that are still there. There's a lot. They, have, they don't have that off. sustainability. Mm-hmm. It, it, you, it's like a breeze. Mm-hmm. It blows you in like one, they call it one, 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 one wonder. Yep, they, yep, they, yep. they come and they go. One just hit, like one, that. One hit one. One hit one wonder. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. What, what, you know, keeps you from uh, just dying off like that yeah. is your content, yeah. your lyrical Cause, content. I mean, because your fan base will not change. One thing with viral music is that once you put a bunch of chaff in there and mm-hmm. put it out there and everybody's on it, it's like the public, the the stereo, they're like, okay, this is the type of music this person, like you went viral with this music. So yeah. the next time they're expecting, they're expecting the, same, the same thing, you know, the same type of thing. and Or something even bigger than yeah. that. <laughs> something even worse. If, if you you've know. seen artists that came out that way, that got the fame that way, the limelight that way, yeah, yeah. The next project is always more or less like useless. Exactly. Because they can't exactly. catch up. Exactly. Exactly. You know, so it, that was what that song was addressing. You know, the chaff is too much. And it's like the, the people are giving attention to those type of music, those type of songs. And if you're doing serious music, it's hard to get recognized. Yeah. But um, if you're trying to be paired with the, the you know, you want to be mentioning the Grammys mm-hmm. or whatever, mm-hmm. you know, attitude of music you know you just have to stick to the quality you know and make sure you're doing good music and that's the part that i've chosen and that's good you know, that's good so yeah. talk about the the present one uh-huh. in terms of the awards you're nominated again um are you nominated again I, are you in any t- any category now they haven't um you know I've, I, I announced the nomination yeah. yet but it's gonna be i think on the 17th of april that's okay. where they're gonna do the nomination announcement okay. and how many people. But then I did file for um like five categories. And yeah, and mm-hmm. just be hoping to I speak it, believe it, and receive it. I mean, <laughs> amen. <you know. laughs> amen. Know. Big amen yeah. to that. A big yeah, amen to that. We, we're hoping to I mean get all the nominations that we I mean be chosen all the categories we filed for you all know, right be nominated for the other categories and that's what we expect so yeah okay um it's gonna be awesome okay ladies and gentlemen i'm still here with kk aponsa mr the matter comes himself i am possible mm-hmm. he coined that name from his last name aponsa <laughs> uh i am yeah. possible i love that it's yeah. it's very yeah. unique yeah. and it stands you out Thank uh you. let's take a quick musical break as a matter of fact before we take that musical break let's um Let's tell the people about this product, this lovely product they can get, you know, uh, get for their loved ones, get for themselves, not just for their loved ones, for themselves. And, um, you know, 
just um something you can put on summer is coming summer is around the corner and this oh, is something wait. you can wear to those functions those hangouts cookouts places that you know we, people you've never seen for a long time you can even buy one of these and give it out as a gift let's patronize our own uh, this brand is being uh floated by one of our own we got to support our brother you know it's one of our own uh lafayette hammond please you know him not everybody but a lot of people a lot of you out there that are watching you know him uh the number the website is right there on your screen it's www dot um uh www.brandgood dot com please support him support the business support the brand all right let's take this musical break from uh let's take this music this track from uh aponsa he calls this um bittersweet <laughs> What what inspired that lyric? What inspired Bitter, that song? Bittersweet. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, it's a love thing, man. Uh. <laughs> you know, <clears throat> being in a relationship, man, is you always think um is you always look I mean, that's that's human. We always perceive the sweet sweet part of everything. Yeah. Like me coming to the state, man. I it's all the stuff that I see in in the Hollywood movies. Yes. You know, that's what you that was going to be your lifestyle. Yeah, that's that. That's you know, how to go see Jaru. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, and Jaru then we go, you know, you know. So that's it's, it's like that with relationship, but yeah. um, the the reality is it's not all sweet. It's, it's bitter different. and sweet, you know. So absolutely, yeah. It's 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 experience, and I put in music, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, wow, yeah, yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, we're beginning to round up now. We're beginning to round up. Um, do you, I, I, if you like, you answer this question. If you like, don't answer it. Uh -huh. Have you seen uh, there are other you know, African artists in Columbus? Uh -huh. do you, who do you consider as a strong competitor? Like, you think anytime you see, you know, this guy is. I consider him as a as a rival in this industry. <laughs> Have you seen in terms of I want to I'm narrowing it down to the you know Africans African yeah. artists in Columbus. Yeah. Um me don't give me those political <laughs> politician answers. I don't know. No, but with me I first see music as a passion, as okay. a gift and a talent. Okay. You know, that even without the industry, you still, that's all you have, you know, okay. if, you know, all things being equal, let's say there's no music industry, no awards came, nothing. Mm -hmm. The passion is still going to be there. You're still going to sing for your kids. You're still going to sing for, so me, I look at it, it, you know, naturally that is something that it's a purpose, you know, and, but when it comes to the system, whether it's an industry, you know, yes, there are people that um, are also, doing the same thing you're doing yeah and we all trying to get eyeballs you know but i i won't call anybody as competition yet but i know people are doing great here they um they're doing good music and there are few that are really you know digging i think they have the numbers they have you know the eyeballs and they're doing great equally so do you have you seen that or met anyone that that you know to some extent you started now but there are some people that are aspiring that want to start probably mm -hmm. never been to the studio mm -hmm. have you met anyone that you like this kid got something oh yeah yeah, yeah. there's a lot there's a lot and there's even one that i'm mentoring now okay um it's like sign on impossible music okay and maybe next month we're gonna put um next month we're gonna put a song out it's a, it's a young kid it's a lady i even did a song with him with her um um, it was a cover that we did. But aside that, yeah, we go to the studio and we meet new artists all day, people that are really dope. They are guys that are coming up and they're always putting content out and they also see us with their craft. And yeah, there's a lot of them here, but it's always, you know, trying to connect the dots, you yes. know, you know. It's hard. The, yeah, 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 you know. But they, they, as long as you don't give up, it's, uh, there's always light at the end of the tunnel. You know, there are people there. There are people. My producer in um the state is a young 
kid, young guy, and he's also he does rap. Okay, you know, and he's also an artist. So you have a liver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Impossible music. Impossible music. Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. And, uh, yeah, the first um, signing would be um, Jolie, Jolanda, and we already did. So outside of music, what what else do you? Because you, I think you do other things. What else? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I I'm a creative director. I'm a creative director. Tell them, tell them, let them know. <laughs> so they, they, in Columbus, yeah. people, please. Yeah, yeah. So my business is called Impossible Productions. I do. I was one of the very early people that started photography in America somewhere in 2014. Oh, wow. Yeah, I started doing in photos. In city of Columbus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, commercial, I was doing for parties. And it was always later, I was like, man, got to take this serious. And okay. so, yeah, I have a company called Impossible Production where we do anything videography and also pictures as well, but mostly video. So from shooting movies, featured films, from shooting skits, um, weddings, parties, and any anniversary, you know, you go um, www.impossibleproduction.com, you will see a lot of beautiful videos in my catalog. And Give out the website again. It's www.impossibleproduction. So A-M possible productions with an s dot com um are yes. you on instagram your yeah. social media um plan, instagram for my business yes i'm possible production um for as an artist um kk i'm Ponsa. um yeah you will find me but if as long as you type impossible it's going to show my artists and then my business everything that's associated with impossible products because it's registered in columbus so it's official and yeah we do great music videos great weddings and it's a team it's not just me but yeah so go on there www.impossibleproductions.com for all your video and photography needs you will love our videos and also music you can always book us and we will light up your show <laughs> so um let me ask you this um if you are approached by an international you know labor mm -hmm. for signing mm -hmm. and the condition will be the caveat will be we want you to change your sound mm -hmm. your signature sound to appeal to the international community would you accept that deal or you you're going to decline the fact is i don't have signature sign <laughs> <laughs> the only signature sign is <laughs> it's <laughs> it's it <laughs> it's it's my voice okay and like i said i don't box myself in the agenda okay so anything but, goes not anything but i try to represent what do you mean not anything you say it you don't you're not busting yourself to any any you know yeah, any particular general. genre yeah yeah right yeah, if you're yeah. not busting yourself to any particular genre that means you can do reggae dance hall exactly, exactly. you can do afrobeat exactly you can do high life you I know. actually have a reggae song with you know um a reggae artist in ghana it's not out yet but it's a dope love rock okay um love is rock and i'm gonna drop it yeah song. love is rock yeah. back then i used to have this guy this Ghanaian guy he loves you to disturb me for love as rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was not a thing in Lagos. People, Nigerians don't really, they don't go, hardly people hardly ask you for that. Look, no, the only rock. guy that used to ask me for love as rock was a Ghanaian Gan guy. Oh, yeah, Ghanaians love. <laughs> yes. Let's love reggae for some reason. Because yeah. if you look at Ghana gospel music back in the days, almost 80% were reggae songs. Like, Almost eighty percent were reggae Nigerians songs. used to listen to mostly American songs, most especially mm -hmm. the nineties. Like mm -hmm. here, you see, people don't play. We don't play nineties here. You don't go to parties here and play nineties yeah. or eighties. Nigeria, if you go to Lagos, is a team. Old school people do old school parties. Oh. <laughs> most especially the nineties babies, all the eighties, they grew up listening to nineties. Wow. They still, they still do it. Wow. But here, mm -mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, it was reggae reggae in her life hmm. like ghanians have on ghana ghana radio station they have a whole drive time for yeah reggae for that. music yeah okay. you know okay. so it's uh, yeah ghanians love reggae so yeah. who, who amongst all the african artists here mm -hmm. is there anyone you're looking forward to you know collaborate with any, doing a collaboration any, with? any man I'm, I'm i'm open for 
you know vibration i think it, it grows. has anyone approached you yeah 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 yeah. i have people from other um states that i'm working on with no i'm talking about in, in columbus in, in columbus in the city of columbus yes 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 i've done a couple of um collaboration with um um Cerulean guys okay but um for some reason they haven't put it out yet you know okay. yeah or this bit yeah and i'm also looking to having collaboration with other people other Ghanaian even artists in here but yeah i'm open to work because i'm up and going so you know collaboration helps you grow and yeah, I, I don't mind where it's coming yeah, from yeah 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 it helps you to to branch it to exactly. you know uh, other to areas other tap into other audience. areas uh, yeah other you have your own audience yeah, yeah, the yeah, artist yeah. you're collaborating yeah, with yeah. you saw an audience it helps you to what 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 fun what is funny is when you try to reach out to an artist who you know is also up and going or even mm-hmm. up and coming mm-hmm. you know and then for some reason they want you to feel like um because you are reaching out to them mm-hmm. you need to give them something or you have to pay them you know and you're not even <laughs> up there yet exactly you know i'm like dude man i even have numbers more than you do <laughs> you know <laughs> i just think you're good you know and i'm good so but let's put that is it um, that, that, that is what i'm saying that, that are, would tell me a lot like, about you yeah there's other artists artists out there who yeah. are like oh man um you know that's like okay I, I don't mind if it's a collaboration i don't mind and if I'm the one that is um, call, um, calling up upon yeah. you to yes. do that collaboration, I don't mind because I'm going to pay for studio time. You come, you know, but it's not like I have more numbers than you. So I don't have to. Why do I have to? Maybe you, you even going to be. <laughs> Maybe it will take, benefit you more. Yeah. Like it's the same understand. thing. Like, you know, they, so I, that's the funny me, part in the industry. It, but. See, it, it tells me somebody sent me your song. I think it was on Monday, on Monday evening. Mm. I look at it. And I went on your YouTube channel. I check it out, and I sent you a message on Facebook. I didn't have your number, and you replied like instantly, oh. and you included your number. And I called you, yeah, and we yeah. talked. And like, will you be able to? And you said, yeah, yeah, it, yeah, it tells yeah, yeah, it tells me a lot about you. That's cool. How serious you take your craft. That's cool. And you're coming yeah, up. Somebody's saying, let's bridge the gap. Let's see how we can make this work. Yeah. And yeah, you're yeah, trying yeah. to charge me to do that. Exactly. <laughs> it's, it's this, laughable. Uh, yeah. It's sometimes like, it's funny, you know, but um, everybody in the understanding of the Absolutely. Craft, you know, Absolutely. Yeah. Like if just, it's, if you're looking at it in the business way, it's like, okay, you have so much numbers and maybe you think, okay, I'm going to use it as a leverage. You know, that makes sense. It's, though, yes. Business. Absolutely. But then if, my numbers are more than you. I put music video and I get, I'm getting more eyes mm-hmm. and I reach out to you like, hey, let's work, <laughs> you know, and then you come up like, you know. That doesn't uh, make sense. Like, <laughs> that doesn't you know, make so sense. So all the up and coming going artists, let's, let's collaborate, let's help each other, you know, let's, let's try to get ourselves out there and it's, it's you know, it's, very it's important. a unity. What was that proverb? It's very important. You know, uni- unity, I forget the proverb, but then, we united, come, united, united, we stand, stand divided, divided before, yeah. Fall, so you know, we 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 go we go further when we are united, you know. Mm-hmm. So let's let's make that happen. Absolutely, and, that's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. So as we begin to round up, um, is there anything you want to put out there? You know, I know you the 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 the, the GMA nominations oh, yeah, are not yeah, 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 out yeah. yet, um, but please, um, um, yeah. any, uh, you know, if you're nominated <laughs> again. And if you want to use this yeah, medium I'm, to reach I'm, out to I'm your a fans, positive, I'm a positive please. type of guy, and I try to attract all my um, ideals through words, you know, visualization and everything. And I mean, me coming to the state alone is something that didn't just happen. Mm-hmm. You know, everything in my life right now is something that didn't just happen. It's something that I've said before. I have talked about it, and I wanted it, and then it happened. Those so, plans. Yeah. I so put it to Drake. This, the same way with the um, music awards, um, I wanted to be part, and I got part, and then I won. This year, I know I'm going to be nominated. I know I'm going to take an award. So follow on Possible Music, um, KK Amponsa, every platform. It's the same name, K-A-Y, K-A-Y, Amponsa. And when you see, not if, when you see um, KK Amponsa on any um um category just go ahead and vote for me it's gonna be online 
maybe this year is gonna be also facebook and you can vote publicly online and yeah just um listen to my music go on possible music youtube go to facebook go to instagram everywhere and just check me out and i bet um, you are gonna love the craft and you're gonna love the music as well all right all right all right i want to say thank you for coming in i i truly truly appreciate i do uh, man yeah Yo, and, and by the way your place is dope man i see you're taking Bro. this thing serious you know what i mean it, it's, it's it's dope the setup the light i do videos so i know how expensive some of these <laughs> the microphones and uh yeah it's it's it's, it's a great environment you know for entertainment yeah, and yeah. it's the uip work in progress yeah. or work in process whatever you know we just try you know but at the end of the day i look at so many things are happening you know entertainment wise in this mm-hmm. city we need a platform like this where we can be able to you know reach yeah, reach yeah, out yeah, and yeah. I put out our ideas and yeah. tell you know people of Columbus and other you know and I think other that's, places to encourage not, us. Not to, to cut us. you off, yeah. um, I think that's what the African community should do in Columbus because when we come here, we shouldn't see ourselves as Nigerians, Ghanaians, because we all aliens on somebody's land. Absolutely, you know. So <laughs> you, together we can function better. You understand? If we decide to do just Nigerians and you see some Ghanaians, it's like, oh, me, I don't do this porte i don't yeah. do nigeria or i don't do mm-hmm. be sure team up artists to artists you know they because they see us as african artists yep. they, they see you yep. as an african you they know don't they don't see, see you as a ghanaian, ghanaian artist, or nigerian or Lunian, yeah so cameroonian exactly so it doesn't matter what platform you know whether it's a come um from cameroon liberia just go there be the express your song do your thing let's call it break you know let's let's work together and let's grow you know that's what it is man thank you very much thank you very much i really appreciate your time thank you for coming out to thank comment you, you to, to network to speak to your people and i hope today one person you've been able to to capture one fan today you know that yeah. is whole oh, like yeah, yeah, yeah. walk into a room <laughs> and turn those friends enemies into your fan base mm-hmm. you know i hope that's happened today we've been able to achieve that Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning in, for spending this time with us. You could have been doing something else, but you choose to to hang with us. I would truly appreciate that. As always, without you, this program would be nothing. But thank you for the words of encouragement, for those messages you've sent. Thank you to Osewe for tuning in. Thank you to my sister. Thank you to Efe. Efe, you know... I'm on your case. You got to come. You got to come. You have a story to tell. You got to use your story to end. There are people out there that need, you know, to hear your story. That's what this platform is all about, bro. We got to come here and, you know, use our stories to encourage other people. Anything that will not encourage other people out there, I'm not going to do it. But in as much as I know, you know, the, the viewers will take one or two things away from it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pursue it. That's what it's all about. Uh, so we're signing off. We're going to take this. Um, we're going out with this song by Aponsa. He called this um, Dark Side. Probably this is... <laughs>